So, when we last left off, we had another game crash, and hopefully, uh, if I have done my work correctly, you will not see any lost footage. There's, uh, there, there were some complications in the recovering of said footage from the crashes, but, um, if, if things go the way I'm planning it, you will not notice a thing. So, yay for that. Uh, but we do have to discuss, uh, one tiny little thing, and that was specifically the crashes. And, uh, apparently... A little bit of user error on my part. I thought the updates to the game that caused the character stuff to not be invisible and whatnot. Um, I thought that fixed a few more problems than I thought. So I turned the graphics quality up with lighting and water physics and all that. And I believe that's what caused the crashes to occur. Uh, that has been fixed. And yeah, hopefully we will not be dealing with that ever again. But... As you may be thinking, how did I test these things? I'm not going to be using this lovely stream character uh, in order to do some very long, rigorous testing processes in order to not cheat some things up and find new locations and all that. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Uh, no, that is because I have a second character. Dun, dun, dun! I have rules with that second character, though, but... Nevertheless, I have been doing a little bit of testing with a second character this la or, well, last weekend uh, for people watching the stream. And uh, actually, this is a good thing, because not only did I make sure that everything was running smoothly, and yes, the game did crash a couple of times when I wasn't, you know, when I was playing that, so that's how I knew I fixed things. Uh, but with that second character, I have gotten some answers to a few questions. One being the crashes, two being how to actually use spirits and what signs I need to look for in order to be able to summon spirits, so we'll be able to use that. That's how I was able to uh, previously figure out how to use them uh, last stream, so that's one. And uh, also some weapon skill stuff with the Ash Arts. Uh, we'll, we'll touch on that because I'm actually a little curious about something I may have may not fucked up. But, uh, nevertheless, that's all that. Now, don't worry, I'm just gonna be on and off playing that character on my own time. Maybe we'll try playing that on stream just for some fun stuff, who knows. It's a melee build, because also I wanted to see how melee works, Cestuses, and all that. I've never done that before, and it's really, really fun. Uh, but yeah, all of that is... A-OK, -okay. this character is now A-OK, -okay. hopefully the streams are A-OK. -okay. Other things that may have occurred during that character when I'm off, in my off time, we'll get to when we get to it, but right now, nothing to worry about. So, as I said before we so uh, uninterruptedly, un nah, whatever the case, uh, we're gonna do what we wanted to do before the game crashed the last time and we ended the stream. I wanted to talk to my teacher! There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Yes, we shall, because I have another scroll! <sighs> Is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Yay! Alright, so what do we got here? We've got... Uh, swift Glintstone Shard. Swiftly fires magic projectiles from Glintstone. Great Glintstone Shard. Oh, that's good. I think I have, what, the Glintstone Pebble? I think that's what I have. So grabbing these two wouldn't be too bad. Uh, th these are what enhance my sword and shield, which I'm not going to use, so I'm going to grab those two spells, and fuck it, I'm not probably going to lose these souls if I don't spend them. Your appetite for learning is impressive. You make me proud to have grown little legs so readily. You must have a fabulous teacher. <laughs> yes, you are. You are quite the teacher. 
Uh, right, so we'll we'll see how those go and whatnot. Uh, so, weapon. Let's, let's actually check the spells. This we're going to replace with... What is this one? Glintstone Pebble. It was Glintstone Pebble. So, I'm going to take this one and that one just to see how they do and whatnot. So, Ashes of War. So, apparently... Let's undo the enchantment. Um, okay, so this character doesn't have that. Good to know. Can I undo... Undo enchantment. Undo enchantment. Okay, so let's clean that slate. Apparently, this deals with scaling. And I just wanted to check if my staff uh, got screwed up in any way when I did this. And it doesn't look like it does. So I just wanted to double check. I was I was very worried that my magic casting... I'm, I'm waving my hand in the air like I'm waving a spell rod or something. You can't see that. Um, I was worried that my spell casting was being fucked with scaling-wise. It is not. Uh, so basically what I was uh, very curious about was... Um, just kind of going through... Great sword. Here we are. See, see if I click this one, which I will, we have standard, which keeps it as what we have currently for stats, but I can switch it to be heavy, keen, quality, magic, um, kind of like how you would in Dark Souls 3 when you changed with certain stones to make the scaling different. I didn't realize that. So, yay! figured that out and all of that hullabaloo i am glad that that has been taken care of uh oh right and we still wanted this is this is what i wanted to kind of use but i'm not sure if we want to put in the dex requirements for it what is my speaking of which what are my stats with desks? Oh yeah, no, I need five more levels in order to wield that. I I don't think I will be. Alright. Uh, let me just get back on track to what I want. I want my vigor to go up to at least 20. My endurance to go up to at least 15. And my intelligence to just keep going up. So that's, that's my goal for this character. Um, we can... Uh, switch out you... I'm going to just take, uh, you know what? We grabbed them er, uh, for our gift. We'll take our little imps. Imps are cute. Uh, I'm going to switch, I said switch this out for uh, something else, which is the other, other thing that we can talk about in a second. Close the messages, that's not what we wanted. I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. Okay, so, our wondrous physique. I actually, actually, uh, did a little bit more. I've actually been using it with the other character, and that actually is useful. Um, but I realized that I forgot to check out the two new crystals that I got because we fought one of those things next to a tree, and we got them, and I didn't, I didn't realize. So, let's go see what they do. This one steadily restores HP for a time in Mixed Physique. That's actually really good. Um, slightly negates damage in... Okay, well, we're gonna do this. Because that's that negates some damage and re returns health. That's, that's actually really, really good. Okay, good thing I decided to check on that. Uh, right. So... With all that small housekeeping out of the way, let's get back to it. What were we planning on doing? Okay, so we have catacomb with a little imp thing. We need we need those stone daggers in order to unlock quite a bit of things, actually. And then whenever we run across a store, we, we need to mark it because I do definitely remember we missed a few. We, we definitely missed. I think there was one, like, over in this direction here. In other places. I think there was also one, like, over here. There there was stuff. We're going to stay focused a bit on the south here. Um, we're just going to stick around. 
and explore this area. I mean, I have this place marked, so... from last time. So I think that's probably a good place to start. And then after, we're probably going to continue and try and get into here. Although that looks ominous. And, uh, yeah. And then we've also got up north. We need to explore more up here. Mage Academy, I don't feel like going into until I get a little bit more powerful. Um, there, there is, okay, there is, since we're po focusing up here, one spot. So, it's really, really hard to stay away from spoilers in uh, the whole Elden Ring is the most popular game and talked about thing ever. Um, and apparently, this one spot here is where you can get unlimited shards. Or at least get the ability to get unlimited shards. So, we're definitely gonna have to go there at one point. Probably not soon, but sooner rather than later. That's honestly other than a couple screenshots that I really wish I didn't see. Uh, all that I know. So, let's get back into it. Right. This is what we just came from, correct? I think. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, so... We want to... Swift Glidstone Shard. We're gonna test some spells that we just got. Which will hopefully be useful to us. Ooh. Oh, oh, also, these things. Um, I figured out... These things point to those tombs. But since I've already found the tomb this one is supposed to point to, I can't interact with it. So, yay! Now I know that as well. Good to know. I didn't even see that there, to be honest. Oof. Oof. Whee! Alright, what is over here? What is the fuck? Oh, what is that over there? That's cool. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Oh, there's some stairs. Alright. Alright, the Swift Glenstone Shard actually does pretty good, uh, good damage there. Don't know if it's less damage than my normal thing. And then Great Glenstone is probably just going to be a bigger... Is just going to be a bigger strike. So I think... It's just cheap. Yeah, I think that one's just the cheaper one. Liver! With fava beans and all of that good stuff. What do we got here? Be wary of strong foe. Okay, well then let's go with the Great Glint. Ow! Oh yeah, that is great. Oh, there's more than one of them. Oh, that does cost a lot of spell stuff. And then if I do this... Yeah. There we go. So, okay. I think I've got a couple spells that I'm going to want to switch out for. Open up! Alright. No one's around here. No traps. Liar ahead. Seek faith. Ooh, face face faith, 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 faith. faith based item there. Ooh! A scythe! And then, what does this say here? Liar ahead, probably. Yeah. That. Oh! If you notice the little, like, tomb inscription thing above spinning weapon, uh, that little symbol means I can summon my spirit in this area. So, now that I know what that means, uh, that that means that, uh, we're definitely going to probably use that a hell of a lot more. Okay. Oh, 
What we got a bunch of stuff in here. Don't know what those are going to be used for for upgrade material, but we got it. There's another one of these prison things. At least I assume they're prisons. They're either prisons or extra dimensional something somethings. Which I will say, there, there, there are. With that other care. Oh. Am I not unlocking this until. No. That's interesting. I don't have a stone key for this. Okay. Well, we'll mark it. And I'm not. I'm not going in there just now. I've got a whole other area to explore. Over in this direction, and then this direction, and then possibly this too. And whatever the hell was over here, where, where did that go? How did I lose such a giant thing? Was it over here? No. How did I... Oh, there it is. How do you, how do you lose a giant thing like that? very easily. Things glowy. These guys look headless. Alright, I like that spell. I really like that spell. Very quick. Oh, not very long range, though. seen that in the preview commercial. I wondered what it was. What do I have to do to get in it? It's like a walking fortress? God, it's like Shadow of the Colossus. That is... Okay. Can't hit it. At least that way. Fuck. Try legs. Well. Doesn't feel great to be crushed. Uh, right. So back over to there then. Let's go and. Uh, well. That's a shame. We need to find another spot of grace. Well, we don't have to worry about those souls, too. Okay. <laughs> oh no, my horse still goes invisible. I I never had invisible pro maybe maybe it's because I'm doing a lot of stuff on my computer at once that I'm still having some slight invisibility problems. We'll see when we get to certain areas, but I had no invisible problems with my other character, so That is interesting to think about. But, nevertheless. Alright, I'm- I'm- It said try legs, which makes me think, oh, just climb up the legs. But then when I think climb up the legs, I think Breath of the Wild, just climb, climb. 
We don't have that ability. We only have jumping. That makes me... Curious. And it didn't look like there was any resources I could gather. Oh. Oh, yay, invisible enemies around here. That's great. Um, it didn't look like there was any resources I could get. Unless I can climb it via horse. Which, I'll be honest, I think he's more of a water buffalo. With the horns. I mean, yes, he's horse-like, but he looks more water buffalo-ish. Ominous AF, too. It's the, ha the, the haunting bell chime. Hey, even if I could climb up the legs. So maybe I have to destroy the legs, which in that case... just find here. Remembrance duplication. With the Remembrance Duplication item, you can duplicate remembrances you've previously acquired. This includes remembrances from which you've already drawn out power. Duplicate Duplication can only be performed once per mausoleum. Oh. Interesting. So if there is an item that you want from both, because because you only choose one. So if there's an item you can you want. Thought it would be something. So if there's an item you really want from from an from an enemy, from a great boss. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that is well worth trying. But it's only one per mausoleum, and obviously there's probably only a certain amount of those. Um, so let's put down... What do we want to put down? 
banner or something? You know what? Banner. We're gonna put banner down. Make our own little legend there. Um, yeah, that's where this guy is. Hopefully he stays down. Doubtful, but eh. And then there's these guys again. Go. Oh, there's... Is that one of those little kinkajou things? Oh no, I didn't want to kill one of them. Damn, that spell's actually really good. Pick up that. It's probably... Probably another enemy around somewhere? I don't know. I don't see anybody. Usually churches have... Oh, yay. That was just about to say Sights of Grace and Chalices. Chalice. And a Sight of Grace. There we go. Uh, so, flask, allocate, good. Uh, no, no. Any new on that? No, we're good. Alright, flask charges, we're still good on those. Uh, spells-wise, though, we're gonna remove the glintstone pebble, and you're gonna keep swift and great glintstone shards. How much do they do? That one's that. That costs five, that costs twelve, and that was seven. So yeah, I think that is a little bit of an upgrade, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so that's going to be my boss killer, or at least the so far boss killer. That's going to be my normal, and that's going to be up close and personal stuff. Works for me. Nice, alright. So, southward we go. Come on. Whee! Probably see what's down there from up here. It is nothing great looking. Ooh. It may be. Come on. Oh, that's stayed down. Oh, good to know. Okay. Um, it may be where Boatman is. Hi. But I don't know. Oh, there it is. The tower. Finally, I can return to our home bathed in rays of gold. Oh, maybe you can only... Well, I've only killed one rune lord. So it could be... It could be that it could be... This could duplicate any of them or just one specific one. First off, grab that, thank you. Alright, this looks green, and I was right to think it was poisonous. Right. Alright, so we're gonna have to be a little cautious. What the hell is that fucking face thing? What kind of discount fail is that? Ow! Alright, I like this quick pebble. That works. Um... No, seriously, what kind of discount bail it is that? Try horseback battle... ...in short poison area. Okay, well I'm just gonna run over to the actual... Oh, that's pretty solid. Is it going to shoot at No, it's only in that little area. Oh, that does not do a lot of damage. Well. 
Oh, they just fire at it. Probably is much more weaker than melee. Might have to go in there and do some melee. Ooh, that's nice. I, di I think I did see another Ooh. enemy. Just go down these stairs. I'm gonna go down here and make sure there's nothing to kill. Nothing that can kill me. So I can just have a... Huh. Well, that's not what I expected. Ooh! Magic! Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Who are oh, you? Uh, it'll do no good, I swear it. Uh, and yet you persist. You frothing degenerates. <laughs> She's imprisoned here. Why? <laughs> it will do no good. <laughs> Alright, I have a feeling I need to kill the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kill that thing. And that might release her. Let's uh, get out from over here. Drink. Got the Baja Blast. Alright. Dead. I'm gonna wait for the raining meteor swarm to end there. Well done. Thank you. Um. There we go. Alright, so there's variations of those things. Careful not to... <sighs> land in the muck. I'm just checking around. Alright, well, it's dead. You free? <laughs> no. Alright, well... Um, let's so put down person here. That's, um, that's a new one. Maybe my teacher will know what that is about. Uh, right. Oh, yay, that doesn't do anything. Good. As, as I go. Ooh, that's a little house. Check the house out. Oh, Sight of Grace. Oh, that would have been lovely. Oh, and I think that's a person. Ugh. Ugh. That a person? It is a person. It's a shop. Oh, we didn't actually get a lot of souls from that thing. Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? What you got? Uh, you have a lantern. Oh, good. Uh, lost Ashes of War. Used to duplicate Ashes of War. Good. Zweihander. Good to know that that's still around. Um, walking Mausoleum Note. Well, I mean, don't really need it right now, but I'll, I'll take it. Have a safe journey. You too, buddy. You enjoy your, uh, you're wherever you are here. There we go. Get the stuff back. And onward. 